hey, you know how uh, you always hear about, oh, Trump advisor Roger Stone had a back channel to Julian Assange and that back channel. Well, that back channel is Randy Credico, who's been on the show and uh, would, did the reporting for us at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. And he actually did have Julian Assange on his radio show and has talked to him. But that whole story about his connection with Roger Stone, because he's been subpoenaed and he's been on the Ari Melber show now like five times, tried because, well, it all, it's all going to get explained. So it starts out a little confusing, but at the end, we put a nice bow on it and we explain everything that's happening, okay? Because it was a little confusing to me too. So enjoy our talk with Julian Assange's back channel. Or was he? So Think Progress did an interview with this guy, Carl Cameron, and it says exclusive former Fox News reporter says Russians colluded with Trump campaign through Roger Stone. New book details Russians' decisive role. Decisive role. In May. So the guy wrote a book, and he's selling a book, and his angle is that Russia is the infiltrated our country and um, has taken over all our elections. Uh, but somehow Wall Street's bidding and fossil fuel and the military industrial complex, their bidding still keeps getting done. Even, even with Russia running our elections. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. So here, I just want to go. So we, this involves, uh, Randy Credico. So they're going to, so I got Randy with us. All right. So Randy, I'm going to read a little bit of that article and then you tell me, tell us what it means. Okay. Okay. Somebody's got to read it. I haven't. Okay. Here we go. Trump confidant Roger Stone's success uh, success was have Trump's confidant Roger Stone's success was having the connections and creating the opportunities for Russian intelligence officer Guccifer 2.0 and other Russian groups to really start taking advantage of social media and pounding these negative memes that Hillary's a crook, etc. That's what Cameron explained to Think Progress, this guy Joe Rome or Rom, as related in his new book, How to Go Viral and Reach Millions. So has it been proven, Randy, that Guccifer is a Russian? No. In fact, it's been proven that he's not a Russian, that he's a cutout from uh, the CIA or the NSA. Definitely came out, that guy Guccifer, after the uh, stuff was announced, it was going to be coming out on the DNC. So they had to have somebody there uh, to, uh, it was, what do you call it? Not a false flag, but a diversion from, from uh, the stuff coming from the DNC. And the DNC had to blame it on somebody, so they blame it on Guccifer rather than it being an inside job or whatever happened. But certainly Guccifer is... He's a he is a cutout from intelligence community. OK, so back to this. I mean, what do you think? I mean, it's it's like, why would Guccifer come out and say that he gave the stuff out the day after the stuff came? Yeah, out? I know. It, it, I, I already thought that Guccifer had been discredited. That's why I'm like, what? Why? I, I, now, so anyway, in his interviews with Think Progress, Cameron, who covered the Trump campaign for Fox News, connected the dots between the campaign Russian intelligence and the various Russian trolls around the world who are creating and vir viralizing memes and fake news on social media to help elect Trump. Wow, this is amazing. In mid-September, Stone emailed Grandy Credico, who had interviewed Assange weeks earlier and asked him to, quote, please ask Assange for any state or Hillary Rodham Clinton emails from August 10th to August 30th, particularly on August 20th, 2011, end quote. That contradicts Stone's September 2017 House testimony that he merely wanted confirmation from Credico that Assange had information about Clinton. So break that down for me, Randy. In mid-September, right. Stone emailed you. Yes, yes. And asked and you to ask Assange for emails. But right. you, no, not, not, no, wait a second. He didn't ask me to ask for emails. The, the entire uh, uh, group of transmissions between me and Stone. It began with Stone sending me an email uh, from a, not an email from the guy, but a, an email about some uh, story from a Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul is an Indian 
doctor who claimed to have been in Libya with intelligence agencies in Libya and had the proof that Hillary sabotaged uh, the peace agreement. Now, this Dr. Paul has been around peddling stuff for a long time. He's been totally discredited. But Stone sent me the email. I looked at it. I said, this stuff is so off the top, way over the top. And I, I just kind of like, you know, sent him an email back saying, well, look into it. It looks interesting. And he wanted confirmation that Mr. Paul, who I think he was influence peddling with, he was trying, I think he was selling his so-called back channel to Assange to ver uh, verify uh, Mr. Paul's material, which was never put out. This stuff was never put out, this material about Dr. Paul by anybody. So Dr. V. Paul, he's got this stuff. It was a four page PDF and Stone wanted me to see if WikiLeaks had put it out or if they would verify it. I never sent it to uh, WikiLeaks. He was my Sam Nunberg. He kept bothering me about this story. I never passed it on. I kept it to myself, kind of laughed at it. And that's what they're referring to. That's what this guy Cameron is. Is that his name, Cameron? Yeah. 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 That's what he's referring to is Stone trying to get me to get Assange or WikiLeaks. I told him in the email, if it's real, then WikiLeaks would have put it up. So in, in let me up already. let me just break this down. Yeah. So Stone please. was Stone was emailing you asking you to ask Assange to confirm if these emails were real or not. Right. Right. If that story was real, that, or that not. story was real. You didn't relay that information to no. Assange. But no. now but now Stone, you're uh, to keep himself connected to the story and prop himself up in publicity uh, is saying that you were his back channel. Right. That was the first that was the very first. Uh, is that true? Communication no. I had. Is that my true? very yes. 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 So but what I'm say, saying is yes. That's, so just because it's yes. it's confusing to me, so it must be confusing to people watching. Mm -hmm. So that's, well, that's why, true. That's why I want to keep it very simple. So well, you got. Let me, you have to. You have to. You have to throw this in. That was the first communication I had. What was that? I think that was September 16th with um, with Roger Stone in reference to uh, Assange. WikiLeaks or anything thereof. There was nothing that preceded that. So he wanted, and this came so, well, a here's, week. Here's what it says, Randy. It said in right. one of his responses, Credico made clear he was a back channel to Assange's team. Quote, the batch probably coming out in the next drop. I can't ask them favors every other day. I asked one of his lawyers. They have major legal headaches right now. Relax. That's what you said back to Roger Stone. So that right. was you. So that's you blowing him off going. I can't be asking them favors every other day. Right. And you said, I asked one of his lawyers, they have major legal headaches right now, relax. So you're basically blowing him off. And they use that as proof that you're his back channel. Yes, and can I tell you, the reason why I said that to him, that uh, I can't ask him for favors, because I was asking them for favors every day to get Julian Assange back on my show. He was on August 25th, and I didn't get him back on again until April 11th. Okay. So I wanted him on for myself. Right. Stone was hoping I would get Assange on his Infowars show. Of course, I never asked Assange, never passed it on. And there was only an intermediary between me and Assange to have him on my show. I had so, no direct communication. So so what what they're what they keep so it's a sexier story if Roger Stone actually has a back channel connection to Julian Assange because he's connected to the Trump campaign. And that's why this is sexy to people. And it would show that they were in cahoots and working together. And if you're their back channel, that makes their puzzle fit together. But if you weren't, that all their house of cards falls down. So that's why people keep trying to insert you into this story because you actually did have communications with Julian Assange, but you never communicated on behalf of Roger Stone to Julian Assange, correct? You got it, man. That's okay. exactly the story. Roger Stone got me, Gary Johnson, on my show uh, September 9th, 2016. I asked him to get Gary Johnson because he was hot at the time 
just prior to his gaffe on Aleppo right. on Morning Joe. All right. So I was I said, thank you. I said, what can I do in, in return? He said, get Julian Assange. And I said, well, I'll see. And I never, ever pass that information that Roger, because why would I do that? Why would I like even let them know that I know Roger Stone? Right. I uh, so I and plus I wasn't going to give he was like, hopefully going to be my my main guest in the coming future. So I didn't pass that on. And then he's asking me to confirm this. And I said to him, I can't ask him for favors every single day. Right. Right. Or ask WikiLeaks for favors. And the favors to them was get him on my show again. And I didn't. And all of my emails will verify that Stone had no back channel. But this definitely is much, much sexier if there is some kind of link. Right. And they're, they are chasing rainbows here, okay. unfortunately. So that's what this is all about. Okay, so so I think people understand. And now we got you here to, to you know, it, 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 it looks like bullshit on its face, you know. Uh, uh, well, can't you read between the lines there what I'm yes, saying? Yes, I can. That's what I can read between. I know, yes, that's what I'm saying. It looks, and it just looks like they're really propping this story up as with sticks and, you know, b- bubble gum and, ra- and and twine and trying to make it. It's got to be you and Roger Stone and the back channel to uh, uh, to Assange or else this whole story falls apart. It's all nothing. So, right. and it is actually is nothing, right? That's what you're saying. It's it's so totally nothing. And, you know, I have some major magazine uh, writer, national magazine writer, who's won a lot of prizes, who has all of my emails from, from the very outset with Roger Stone combing through this to see that there was never any transmission in that line of emails. There's no way I could erase that part. Right. So you can see that there was no like uh, email number 15. I couldn't erase email number 15. Right. There's like 30 emails. You can see it was never passed on to anybody. Okay. All right. Well, Randy, uh, if people haven't seen the movie that was made about you, there's already been a documentary made about you. It's called 60 Spins Around the Sun. It was made by Laura Keitlinger. You should watch it if you haven't seen it. It's a great, it's on, available on YouTube for free. You can watch it right on YouTube, right. 60 Spins Around the Sun. It tells you all about Randy Critico. It's, he's already had an amazing life. And, um, yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, well, Randy, thanks for coming on and debunking that uh, article. And and, uh, and we're, we're privileged to get your story out. So thanks for sharing it with us. Our next live Jimmy Dore show is July 1st in Portland, Oregon, and July 15th in Chicago, Illinois. We're doing a live show July 15th in Chicago, Illinois. Go to a link right there for all the tickets to all the live Jimmy Dore shows. Plus, if you can help become a premium member, we give you hours of bonus material every week. Become a patron or a premium member. And if you're on Steam It, we're steaming it right now. Plus, every Saturday, we do a live Super Solid Chat Saturday where it's a live stream and you can ask us questions and we'll answer them back every Saturday, <laughs> 2 p.m. Pacific time. Thanks for your support.